Okay, YouTube, and I return for yet another. This would be um, about car review number 11, I think. Uh, for another car review, and I, um, as promised, I'm going to test the final of the Skyline series. Now, unfortunately, Nissan, um, oh, excuse me, uh, Nissan dropped the name Skyline to the 35, which is like really unfortunate because that was really, I think, Skyline R35 on that car makes it a lot better, makes it sound better. Anyway, this is the R34. It comes stock with racing seats, just like the other Skylines. But Nissan have not rectified the um, the red the um, the speed needle problem. They've um, done something pretty weird with the rev needle in the zero, one, and two are really close together because racers don't need that. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are all spread out. This wheel looks better. It's like a leather, like yeah, you know, leathery. Yeah, like leather. Hard leather. So, um, This is the R34. Yes, 34. I'm going to say 36 now. I'm like 36, I'm going to mean the next year. Awesome car. I'd really like one. Cost 52,000 credits. Which is a bit of a shame. This car, oh dear, is now smashed. But this car is driven in by Paul Walker repeatedly in um, Fast and Furious. Here um, he has a yellow and blue one. No, it's silver. Sorry, silver. Silver and blue with blue stripes and then too fast too furious which is impounded and then he has a blue on the same colour as this that's squashed that's um, blown up in fast and furious ball or just fast and furious it's a pretty epic car look I tell you, look the speed needle problem Finished nearly. This is the last of the proper skylines. This has got a. Uh, this was fitted. You see the screen in the middle. Well, that was a. Uh, that was your uh, in-car computer. Obviously, in-car computers don't work in this game. But um, that is where your in-car computer would be. I really like this car, I mean, the inside of the wheel, I know you can't really see it from here. But when you look at like, all the pictures of it on Google and things, it actually says like GTR in the middle of the wheel. So these are really nice cars. I really like one of these as well. Oh, so I'm only 13 so I can't drive yet. Headlines about 8,800, 8,900. It's quite good for that. I mean, quite a few people who um, race these have um, aftermarket speedo fitters, digital ones. Obviously, um, go a lot higher than this. So that did a 132.6. Now my batteries have run out. I just hit it. 132.6. So now, for the score. If that isn't smashed, it'll look pretty good. So I'd give that um, an 8 on, um, on looks. Give that an 8. Speed, it's going to be an eight, and um, price, going to be a six.
because it costs quite a bit. Oh, it's a 7.3. So it's just, just higher than the other skylines. If it was perhaps like 40,000, to perhaps score like an 8. So uh, that is Skyline R34. It's a very nice car, and I might do another review tonight if I get a chance. So um, thanks for watching, and I hope you subscribe and go on our website and do other cool things like that.